number, but it's a texting number only. So you can only text to them. You can't actually talk to anybody. That Kennedy Township woman was the target of a social media hacking scam. Luckily, though, she realized that something was a little bit fishy and it's happening more and more often during the pandemic. The Federal Trade Commission says it is seeing an alarming increase in online fraud using social media accounts. Consumer investigator Andrew Moreski takes a look at how these con artists are trying to trick you into giving them money. With most of us spending more time online during the pandemic, more fraudsters than ever are out there trying to spoof and hack our social media accounts to use our trusted friends and family to get us to act without thinking. I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> Marlo Vina got a message on Facebook from what looked like her cousin in California, saying she had great news about a charity helping people during the pandemic. If you apply, they give you grants or loans that you don't have to pay back for up to like $60,000. All you had to do was provide your personal information and pay a fee of $500. Realizing that didn't sound right, Marlo contacted her cousin. Hey, did you message me and send me this? And that's when she told me that she was hacked. Scams like that starting on social media have more than tripled this past year, according to the Federal Trade Commission. And unfortunately, a lot of people do fall for it. Victims reporting losses of nearly $120 million in just the first six months of 2020. We get caught up in the moment. You know, people are lonely, people are busy, people are greedy, people want to help. With so much of our personal information on social media, cyber criminals are able to easily hack or clone accounts. It even happened to me. A hacker stole my pictures on Instagram and created a spoofed account with a slight misspelling in my name, a major tip off. The Better Business Bureau says always look closely and slow down before you react to any strange message or post. Never click on a pop up messenger or posts that contain content that seems shocking, scandalous, or too good to be true. Luckily, Marlo realized it was a scam, but played along to see what they'd say. I just texted them. I said that I was Daisy Duck and that I lived in Transylvania, Romania, and that I made a million dollars. Remarkably, they persisted, even sending a video testimonial trying to convince her to give money. Hi, I just wanted to thank you. Um, I'm hurting and you don't know how much you're helping me right now. Playing on your emotions is one of the key tactics cyber criminals use to lure victims. Don't fall for it because they're just preying on you, taking advantage of you, and it's terrible. A few tips to protect yourself from hackers. Limit the amount of personal information you put on your social media. Double check those privacy settings and whenever possible, try to use multi-factor authentication on your devices like a PIN number or a thumbprint to get into your accounts. Angie Moreski, 11 Investigate.